Uh, good morning. Yes, my name is Franco Mkumu. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Let me adjust first. Okay. Uh, this is the first conference to ever attend. Uh, at the start of many that I will attend. Yes. So, I'm pleased to present to you this topic. It is not science rocket. It's a simple thing. IoT, Internet of Things. In this room, we have Internet of Things. I don't know whether that's cool or there. It's automatic. How does it function? But I suspect it is. Uh, that gadget over there, it is. So it is not rocket science. Uh, blockchain, same thing, it's not hand. When you hear blockchain, you think of Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, but it's a technology for security purposes. Uh, I'd like to go to the next slide, kindly. Next. Yes, pharmaceutical industry is one of the highly controlled industry in the world. Drugs are poisons if not taken well. Therefore, the authorities have to take control of that. However, the supply chain as it is, it is in parts. There is no system to bring it together for efficient workmanship. We have a manufacturer here, distributor there, wholesaler there, user there. They are not integrated together. They are lacked a system to do that. And the supply chain is not a one-way thing. It's a two-way traffic. The manufacturer needs to follow up their product up to the end user. And the end user needs to track that product up. When did it come from? How has it been handled along the way? They need that, that data with them. Next. Yes. So the definitions of IoT and blockchain. IoT, these are, these are devices, items, devices, which have sensors and software. And these de devices can communicate with one another over the internet. They enable communication between people, processes, and things, them themselves. They facilitate that. And now, the blockchain, this is uh, a tamper-proof ledger that record information, transaction, and processes. It is time, it is real-time and transparent, tamper-proof. So when we combine the two, we get an immutable system that can bring transparency in pharmaceutical supply chain. As we are sitting right here, there is a manufacturer, either in India or in Kenya, that is manufacturing a product, a pharmaceutical. But we don't know what is going inside that facility. We are just here. We will go out there. We will take that medication by faith that it has been produced in a good way. It, it meets the specifications by faith. But you don't have to always live by faith. You can live by, by fact. And that's what these two things come to serve us at. Our next slide. Uh, in 2017, someone, Linda Stande in Kenya, 
and found out that 17% of drugs in Kenyan market are of poor quality. By looking at the drug, you cannot tell that this is of good quality or that is of poor quality. If we bring these two technologies in our facilities, we, we combine the IoT, industrial IoT and blockchain into our manufacturing plants. The system that they run there, they have the, these devices installed there. These devices track the conditions of the, of the instrument they are using, the conditions of the room, how the process has been taking place. And those information, that information is sent without any alteration to an immutable ledger, the blockchain. And that information can be tracked by, can be seen by either authorities or any, any other person who wishes to see that information. So that one can see that this manufacturer has followed the right procedures. You don't have to go to that facility. If, for instance, PPB says that we want to inspect this facility, that day they will ensure everything works normal. But you don't have to do that. We can employ tech and do that for us and give people the right product. Transportation. Uh, my boss once told me that I should never buy insulin from the cargo people. Why? Because some of them do not keep them well. So even if it is expensive, just order from the supplier. Now, we have that supplier we can trust. There's another supplier who along the way, the ice will melt. How do you track that? So people outside there are taking medications that are of low quality because of the handling. The transportation has messed the drug. If that vehicle is installed with the IoT devices, which are connected to the blockchain, that vehicle can be tracked along the way. That now you are transporting insulin, we need the connection to be this one. The IoT does not know that it should be uh, refrigerated at, let's say, a two, 2 degrees Celsius. It doesn't know that. It just transmit. At this time, it was 2 degrees. At this time, it was 8. At this time, it was 20. So it is upon you to track that information node. At this point, there was a, a problem. If the, how long did it last? Two hours, three hours, and then you can make your decision or your judgment. Okay. These are applications of the NNE, the LT and blockchain. Fight against counterfeit drugs. How many are in manufacturing? No one. Okay. So, some importers. Who is importing? Yes, we have one. <coughs> you have a product is solely yours. That you are the one who has been authorized to distribute that product in Kenya. How do you know that I cannot go behind the scene, the back door and bring the same same product and sell it and whatever happens it is you manufacturing um you are you are licensed to manufacture a drug may i go to river road i set my small facility there i cook my things i package that product as yours what will you do how will you know that this product is not really genuine even I can make exactly as you as even if it goes to lab, it emits the standards. How will you know? With blockchain, we can do that. When you release a batch, a drug, you know the quantities that you have 
released. You have sent them to this area. So you know the Kenyan market has 1,000, 1 million tablets. So all of a sudden, you can track the movement of that, of your drug. Today, a hundred of them have been dispensed to patients. There are uh, 20 packets at distributor level, others at wholesaler level, others at retailer level. Then, all of a sudden, you see, at the wholesaler level, there is an increase of quantities. What does that tell you? There is a fish cooking somewhere. And you can track that. The authorities can track that. Because someone who has entered that data into the system is known. The blockchain has what we call nodes, where data enters at. Who has entered that data? Who was that person? What are their ID? Yes, according to average O, 10% of drugs in middle and low income countries are fake. This number can be higher in Kenya. That's one I believe. It's high. But we can, we can do something about it. Another application of the IoT and the blockchain, it's product recall. Recently, there was a recall of Diproforce, if I'm not wrong. Unfortunately, Diproforce is not a fast-moving product. Now, let's take a, a fast-moving product that has been discovered as a, a problem. Let's say, for instance, um, Rigo decides there is a problem with Cetamo for pediatric. And now they are recalling that product. It is a fast moving product. So the issue a statement, we need this product back. How long will that take for that product to be recalled before it reaches? How long will it take that information to reach the retail pharmacy? The phone call, distributors, distributor to wholesalers, wholesalers to retailers. So maybe they, they phone call someone who is having some depression, stress, other things, they forget to pass the information. So <laughs> the system is still continuing to be what? Dispensed to patients. But with the blockchain, Regan just does what? Recalls that product. And that information is transmitted down the chain to the last person that this product cannot move forward. It can only move backward. So these are things that can really serve us so that we can ensure that we give the right medications to the patients. Yes, an illustration of the same. The whole structure of pharmaceutical supply chain from manufacturer up to the patient. And at the core, we have the blockchain and the IoT. A case study of its Dowascope and many other health tech companies. As I said, uh, supply chain is a two-way traffic. It's not one way. So Dowascope has, 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 has implemented a prototype of the app chain visibility, where a patient can search for a drug, follow up for a drug, see the availability of a drug. Also, retailers can do that to their wholesalers and wholesalers to distributors. And one of the advantages of it, or the benefit, is that it has given the convenience to the users of knowing where to find their medication. And even the sourcing of those medications, the cost of doing the business, it's bringing down. So many, many health tech companies are coming up, and there are many. In Kenya, we have more than 10. We are trying to bring convenience to, to the industry. 
No. As we are bringing the solutions to Kenya, to Kenyans uh, and the whole of Africa, we may end up remaining discrete, separated, just like the system is at 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 by now. We need a system that is for all of us, that every organization, any organization in the healthcare system can tap into and develop their product. That is their, their business. We don't have to have, this is Dowerscope, developing Dowerscope. Here we have Kasha there, we have another one there. So we need to have an, a core system where no one owns it, or it's, it's for all of us, where each of us can tap into. No one, one person or one entity can do it, but it should not be the one, just one which is to do it. Like Bitcoin, let's Bitcoin was created, but anyone can set up their website and they train the same, same currency on their own because it has been given to everyone. So that's why we should come together and make a system for all of us. Pharmacy, pharmaceutical products are at the core of healthcare system. There is no healthcare without drugs. Let's make this drug the cryptocurrency, the Bitcoin. Whereby now, you are setting up your system here. Tap into this. So that any drug that goes through your system, it can be tracked. It can be known. Is it of good quality? Is it, is it from the right manufacturer? All that other stuff. Yes, NoScope Technologies has set up the piece. We are doing this. We are just calling all of us to come together and have a common goal of setting a system for all of us. The system that will guarantee trust and honesty in the pharmaceutical and healthcare sector as a whole for the betterment of our, of our people. One thing we should know is Africans, we have been consumers. Every time we are consumers, every time consumers, we shouldn't. We can also be producers. And the Kenya is the hub of Africa. Let's produce a system for Kenya and for Africa. We don't have to wait for the big, the big techs from America or Europe to wait to do it for us. We have the capability, we have the resources to do it. Let us come together and do something good for Kenyan people and Africa as a whole. Thank you very much.